<laughs> Hi guys, today I'm visiting my dad and I thought it would be the perfect time to check out Walmart and see what back to school supplies they have and you're gonna come with me, so let's go. Since this is a back to school video, I thought it'd be fun to tell you about six of my top favorite movies regarding school or about school. Basically anything having to do with school. You know what I mean. Number one is 10 Things I Hate About You, and this was just a classic movie that my sister and I loved watching over and over again. Heath Ledger and Julia Stiles just did an amazing job in that movie. They had really good chemistry. I never knew that Heath Ledger had such an amazing voice until that movie, and then Julia Stiles served up really good boss girl vibes. This is random, and he wasn't someone that I was really interested in in the movie, but Andrew Keegan, the guy who played Joey, he was on Full House. I think that's where he got his start, actually. I only saw him in one episode, but you'll have to let me know if you've seen him in more than one episode on Full House. Coming in at number two on my list, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, also another awesome classic. My favorite character in that movie was actually the principal just because of his demeanor and just the way he carried himself. He was in Beetlejuice, I don't know his name, but I think that he's just a really funny actor. Watching that movie as an adult, I realized there's no way that he can get all of that done in one day. He was in a parade, he was driving his friend's dad's car, he was picking up his girlfriend from school, they were going shopping. It seems like a really fun day, but again, there's no way you can get all of that done in one day. Number three on my list is Clueless. The fashion, the overall attitude of everyone in the movie, it's hard not to love that. This movie actually really made me want to visit Beverly Hills and see all the gorgeous mansions that are around there. I was bored one day, so I looked up a tour of the house where Clueless was filmed, Cher's house I mean, and I don't remember this part in the movie, but I guess Cher was against the valley and didn't like, you know, people from the valley but the actual real life house is in the valley. Isn't that crazy? If you're from California, will you let me know why people don't like the valley and like the whole reasoning behind that because I don't get it because that house was actually really nice and when I looked around the neighborhood on that girl's YouTube video I was watching, all the houses around there were mansions and really nice, so I didn't know why somebody wouldn't like the quote unquote valley.
Number four on my list is Mean Girls. I actually really like this movie because at the end of it, everything works out the way it should and everyone is in the place that they need to be. On the last day of school, our history teacher showed that. I have no idea why he chose that movie, but that's a very uncomfortable movie to watch with your peers and your teacher. Number five on my list is 21 Jump Street. That one is so funny. There is no way that you can watch that without laughing. I haven't seen the version of it with Johnny Depp. I don't know if that one's better or not, but that's on my list of stuff to do. Oddly enough, the loose leaf paper was almost completely empty, but the notebooks and everything were completely stocked. I prefer notebooks. I don't really like loose leaf because I feel like it just gets crumbled and smashed easier, so I don't know how that happened. So this is America's number one selling pin, but they're not marked, so we'll never know how much they cost. This is my question of the day. What is your best memory from school? Comment down below. Number six is John Tucker Must Die, and yes, John was cute in that movie, but I liked how the girls got together as a team and they figured out how to bring John Tucker down. And again, even though everyone had to go through a hard time, everything worked out the way it should in the end.
are so many cute pencil holders, you gotta check those out. This mermaid one was my favorite though. The disinfectant wipes were only 25 cents, so I got 12 of them. They were on sale because they were 4th of July themed.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.